What's up everyone, this is CyberNat8610, and today we're going to be opening up the brand new uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Starter Deck Yuya. So yeah, this is the brand new Starter Deck for uh, 2016, and uh, yeah, it has Yuya on the front of this one. It's more themed around him and his Performa Pals, and it's the kind of the usual Starter Deck, honestly, on this. Um, basically showing people how to pendulum some, it also includes these cool token cards you can see on the back, and here's the, the card list and everything too, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and open this up and uh, show you guys all the cool cards to get from this. Also, of course, I got this from Big and Collectibles, so be sure to check them out. Link in the description. Really awesome store. They have all the newest uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, as well as a Card for Vanguard, uh, Pokemon, and all kinds of other card games, too. So, I'll link to them in the description. So, here is the Beginner's Guide. Basically, just teaching you everything how to play the game, and that's basically what a starter deck is for, so it's all kinds of useful stuff on that. Alright, so here is the uh, playmat for the star deck that you get. Of course, it is a little bit of a smaller playmat, like the like usual, but you still have your pendulum zones on it and everything too, and you have your graveyard deck zone, extra deck, and uh, field zone. So you can see all the different zones on it. Really helpful for a beginner and everything too, and it looks pretty nice. I like how it has sort of the rainbow look to it, just like the, like the box itself for the star deck. So here are our cards. Let's go ahead and open them up and show you guys the cards you're going to be getting from this. Okay, now we got the cards of the plastic, so let's go on ahead and go through them. Obviously, with this being Yuya's Star Deck, there are a lot of Pendulums and Performa Pals. So, let's see. First off, for our first Ultra, we have Performa Pal uh, Slight Hand Magician. Looks really cool. Even though he's like a Jester Clown sort of thing, and I'm terrified of those, he still looks really cool. <laughs> and a 2,500 attack, too. So, like you would expect from a main character's monster from Yu-Gi-Oh. Then we have a uh, Performa Pal King Bear. For this one uh, looks really cool. It's another uh, pendulum for you to use in this because, like I said, this is basically going to teach a lot of people how to pendulum summon as well, just like the previous uh, starter decks have. And uh, yeah, he just looks kind of funny anyway because he looks like he just sneezed or something. Then we have Perform Pal uh, Momon Carpet. This is a super rare. And since beginners might watch this video, you can tell what an ultra rare is because they have a holographic picture and the uh, the name is written in like a gold foil. That's how you tell what an ultra rare is. And then for a super rare, uh, the name is not changed out, it's not, not foil at all, and uh, the picture is. So that's how you tell what a super rare is. We also have Perform a Pal uh, Parrot Trio, Perform a Pal Long Phone Bull, so those are two more uh, super rares for you. Perform a Pal Swin Cobra, which <laughs> just looks so funny, so happy that he's able to swing. I guess uh, a snake really would have a hard time doing that without arms or hands. We also have Perform a Pal Teeter Totter Hopper, so that's another one of the newer cards you get from this. Uh, for our reprints, we have uh, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, which is still a really nice reprint, even though it's not too hard to get a holographic one now. Stargazer Magician and Time Gazer Magician, you use main uh, two Pendulum Monsters. Perform Pal Drummer Gorilla. Then uh, Perform Pal Second Donkey. Perform Pal Hip Hippo. Full Counts Cannon. And Archfiend Eccentric, which is probably the best reprint in this, and probably one of the main reasons uh, I think a lot of veterans are going to end up getting this... Uh, this uh, starter deck because this is a very nice reprint and it's always been really tough to get anyway. It's been like a secret rare and I think it was in uh, the premium gold but still pretty uh, tough to get so this at least gives you a common reprint and an easy uh, good pendulum monster to get. Dean Ward Warwolf, Beast King Barbaros, Black Warwolf, uh, let's see, Dragon Dowser, Giant Rat, and moving on to spell cards, we have Perform Pal Dramatic Theater, which is another one of the newer cards, is a field spell for you to use. Then, of course, after that, we have Smile World, which I, I like the artwork on that one, too. It's just so simple, and everyone's just so happy. Uh, Hippo Carnival, Draw Muscle, Mystical Space Typhoon, always a good card to have. Lightning Vortex, pretty good. And uh, Book of Moon, that's another pretty good card to get, too. Lucky Iron X, Burden of the Mighty, Backup Rider, and then for our trap cards, we have Perform Pal uh, Showdown. Perform a Pal Pinch Helper, Wall of Disruption, Ceasefire, Regeki Break, Draining Shield, Threatening Roar, Dark Bribe, Chaos Burst, and Pendulum Reborn. So some pretty useful cards on that. A lot of There's a few staple cards in there and just some really good cards for beginners. It's kind of a mix of a little bit of both. And then we also have some hippo tokens, which are pretty cool. So you get the different hippos. And uh, I just like these just because they just seem really funny. I know it was something that everyone laughed at at the beginning. We're kind of worried about, you know, of course, seeing your main character ride on a hippo and everything and then having these tokens. Uh, but... I've really enjoyed the show, and I think it's definitely worth checking out if you haven't yet. So, all in all, this is a good starter deck. I mean, it has a lot of great things in it. I still wish they had, like, a mix, if it was possible, of different ways of summoning. I know it's mainly, you know, Arc 5 is mainly about pendulums, so this starter deck is going to be mainly about pendulums, obviously, on that. But uh, I'd like to see some more variation maybe in the future on, on that as well. 
Also, uh, this is something I recommend for beginners. This is the newest starter deck. It has the latest rules, everything for you. So this is the one I recommend. If you haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh! before or you want to get back into it and you want to try, you know, starting off with something that has more basic rules, I would go with this. Of course, because obviously starter decks are for beginners. They're not like structured decks. Structured decks are more for people that are veterans and stuff, and they, they kind of think that you already know the rules with a structure deck. That's the reason why I always recommend Star Decks for people that are just getting into the game. And of course, if you have no idea how to play it, that's the best way. Now, for veteran players, this is harder to recommend because it is a starter deck. It's cool because of the tokens. You might want to pick one up for that. And then Arch Phoenix-centric is a really nice reprint, too. So, you know, and you might want the new Perform Pell cards. They're all pretty nice in this, too, and they, they just look awesome. Like, I just like a lot of the artworks, too, in them. But, uh, yeah, it's tougher to recommend for veterans. You might just want to pick up the, the different cards that you want from it. But for beginners, absolutely a must-have to learn the game. But yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, uh, thank you guys for watching. Again, remember, I got this from Big and Collectibles. Be sure to check them out. Link in the description. And of course, be sure to subscribe to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! openings. Of course, anything new that comes out, whether it's in English or Japanese, I add openings on. Just like I open up the Japanese version of this uh, starter deck, and then now we're opening up the English version. So be sure to subscribe to see all the latest openings for Yu-Gi-Oh! As well as like this video, and uh, leave a comment telling me the openings you guys want to see in the future, too. Again, thank you guys for watching, and of course I will. Catch you guys later. See ya! Hope you guys have enjoyed my latest video, be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, as well as check out my other two channels, Cyber Knight Games for Let's Plays, and also a Cyber Knight CCG for Card Fight Vanguard openings. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya!